Am I the asshole for suggesting to my wife? Is yelling your dramatic reading? <laughs> Am I an asshole for suggesting to my wife that we name our baby after my previous partner? Yeah. <laughs> Sunglasses. <laughs> you know you what? Learn, did you learn anything from last time? Yeah, I learned. It looked fucking cool. I learned. You think you learned? You think you learned? You look. Hello, cool? hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I learned that I looked cool. Do you think I look cool? No, you don't look cool. Look I know you. Do. You don't look crazy. You look blind. <laughs> <laughs> You're blind, blind to ignorance, man. Yeah, well, and then I'm like, because those are children's glasses. Those are like the, the, yeah, they look like the ones that you get out of um, like a loot bag. I got these in Kensington Market. Yeah, for children. (laughs) It was a children's store, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, it came with a little bit of gummies. They also like reflection. And you know what I don't like about sunglasses is I can't see your eyes. So I don't know what you're, what you're, if you're talking to me, you're you're zoned out. Well, no, I assume you're not looking at me if you're looking the other direction. My eyes are closed the entire time. Yeah, possibly. Right. I can't, I can't tell if you're lying or not. To In me. a way, I'm always lying to you. Ooh, you taste this? No. Good. Your almond milk latte? Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, great. Ooh. I assumed you like, what's the difference between that one and another almond milk latte that you got? Like from a real place? From any place. I don't like, know, but this one tastes like they something fucked up about it. They put in cane sugar? It tastes, yeah, <laughs> it, it tastes like... Told him specifically, no cane sugar. This guy's trying to watch the 15 pounds that he just put on. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that was coming, and it hurt my feelings. <laughs> Halfway through the drink. You've been complaining about it this whole time. A lot of people are like, I would love to listen to a podcast where the hosts are drinking coffee. And we're just hearing slips and slurps. And we, we is that deliver. ASMR? Is that what people are into? I think that's what they want. I haven't seen a lot of that recently where people are like fingernailing the it's microphone. Over. Maybe ASMR. And- you, no, there's no way. Because I kind of like it. I'm like, oh, Do you? Yes? Well, I don't listen to it, but I'm like, when you hear it, you're like, oh, pippity poppities, crackly lackities. It's great. <laughs> Sounds like a rap <laughs> from 1985. Yeah. It, I, it drives me nuts. Like, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. But my, I, go, I, my girlfriend loves it. What does she do to it? Jerks off to it. With your dick? No, she, <laughs> yeah, with my dick. <laughs> no, she falls asleep to it. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah. Are they talking to her? Or is it just like pippity poppities? I think it's whispering and like <laughs> smacking. Oh, affirmations? ASMR affirmations? That's a good idea. Achieve your dreams. Manifest your destiny. 1,000% it already exists. You think? Yeah, I assume that's what she's listening to. Or like, No, I think it's stories. Like people tell stories while whispering and then doing like... stories and also like, yeah, hold sand in their hands. Sandbags, opening sandbags. Open sandbags and just pour bubbles out into the into water or something. I don't know. I have a buddy who told me he he didn't know what ASMR was. And mm. this is a guy who like when I talk about YouTube sometimes he's like feels very behind the times and I showed him how popular ASMR was. Yeah. And he's like, what is that? I'm like, you know, it's like people making click noises and like schmacking and like hearing their tongues at the roof. And he's like, I don't think I want to be in this world anymore. <laughs> what does he do? <laughs> he's a director. He's not into he's not into people liking sounds. I guess not. I guess not. But you're you're for it. What do you do when you listen to? It? You have a run, you go on a jog and listen to ASMR? No. Nah. No, no. I think it's supposed to be a more relaxing thing. I don't know. Listen, I'm not going to tell people how to. You're not going to yuck their yums. No, whatever they got to do. Yeah, like I when I I listen to like rain sounds at night when I go to uh, bed. I, it's not raining that. On much. the calm app? No. It's on, on YouTube. Just, yeah, YouTube. Do you get with an ad every like four minutes? No. No, I find the ones that are just uh, all black for eight hours. Oh, wow. And you just play that. That's nice. LeBron does that. Well, what can I say? That's another thing me and LeBron have in common. 6'8". <laughs> uh, Both have sons trying to make the NBA. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> Big ass dicks. You think you got a bigger dick than LeBron? No, probably not. Probably not? Probably not. Is there any chance you have a bigger dick than LeBron? Probably. All right. Well, we got to get <laughs> LeBron on the show. Gotta be, there's got to be a chance. Well, here's the thing. Even if he had a normal sized dick, he's six eight. Yeah. So, like proportionally to doesn't, a six eight man, that's got to be great. How tall are you? Six feet. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you, you think? I don't know. You had to bring that up, huh? You're sitting down, and then you had to pretend. You're six pretend? Feet. Yeah. I tower over you when we stand up. We should do this show stand yeah, up. Yeah, you're six eleven. I forgot that you're six eleven. Six eleven, but my dick is only a six foot man's dick. Yeah, yeah, which is unfortunate for everybody that has to look at that. On the other show, on the Patreon show. 
Yeah, your only fans. It's the same show. It's the same us talking now, but it's just filmed lower. So it's just they see we're not wearing pants. I don't <laughs> know. dollar idea. I think no. these are good ideas. Affirmation, positivity, and yeah, but podcast. It already exists, and I'm sure people are doing it way better than than you who would try and fake it. Be like, hey, you're great. I think ah, oh, I'm I'm suck. Don't know what I'm doing. Now. I get self conscious <laughs> trying to deliver these affirmations. Do you think the pantless podcast idea has happened, or is that unique to me? What do you dress up the the, the, the bits? Do you dress up the genitalia? just like us now? Yeah, but are, we're not. It's, we're Winnie the Pooh in it, so we're not wearing pants. Right underneath the shirts. I like that. That comes up every episode now. <laughs> and it's just the cameras are on our winkies. Yeah, not great. You know, your buddy Christian Smith said the word winky the other day, and I was like, ah, gross. He did. Yeah. See, it's catching on. I mean, yeah, between two friends that talk about uh, apparently their, their dicks. Everyone's going to be saying wink soon. This podcast's going to blow up. Nobody gives a, nobody gives a shit about your your use of wink. Winky, it's, it's terrible. It it, uh, it makes it sound le- not sexy. You don't think it's sexy? You don't think a girl's like, man, I like a man right. with a big ass wink? All right. No, <laughs> no, no one's saying that. Do you think ever in a porn? you ever you ever hear you ever hear a song about that? <laughs> <laughs> I got a big wink and I took a drink. Okay, like all that? right. Now I'm back on board. What's this? A Do country you think music? you ever hear a porn and she'll be like, "Daddy, I love your big winky." Sorry, what kind of porn are you watching? <laughs> you, you might want to. Sorry, I'll, I'll cater it to you. <laughs> Step brother, where's your big ass winky? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have any step siblings growing up? No, nah, man. Hell no. That's why you Google <laughs> that shit now. Living in the fantasy. No, no, no. Hey, you want to hear some Reddit stories? Anything that a... gets me off of this weird topic, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, Yammy. You know what? I did my homework today, buddy. This morning, I said, Yammy, he's having a rough day. He looks like shit. Thank he you. sounds like shit. Thank you. Going through a bit of a hard time. <laughs> and so I got a story yeah. that I thought you would like. Okay. You're really setting this thing up here. You're really just painting a picture, really doing the, the trimmings for it. I am. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be a better host. You know, everyone says... Yeah, you got some feedbacks on the old comment. Uh, on the old comment section. section there. No, this the, this story reminded me. Could of you, you do something more about your presence? On well, this people show. are like, "Oh, you're you're the host of that." I thought that was just a, a, a community thing. Oh yeah, you're just a couple people that show up. And they do... thought we just were committed to showing up, and our names in the fucking thing. Well, not they're a bad example. I pointed to the <laughs> sign in the, the logo that, in the studio, this indescript logo of the the name of this podcast on just the means Spotify. A bunch of people, I understand where they're getting that from because it's just like and company. Well, that could be anybody. That could be anybody. And then you don't have any leadership qualities. So no, it's like um, yeah, who's <laughs> running this show? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think? Hey, anyone who's listening to it on Spotify only, throw go to YouTube. Go to YouTube. You can see our faces. You could maybe you imagine Scott looking really different and me looking really different, and then you see us and you're like, "Oh shit!" Yeah, disappointment abound. That does happen sometimes when you're oh, yeah. a big fan of a show and you listen and then you see them. What's you, who's that happened with for you? Well, it's same with the movies. I'm reading a book. I don't necessarily want to see the movie because I know after that I'm going to be imagining the characters from the movie. You? Yeah. Which book is this? Specifically, Harry Potter is what I'm thinking of in my mind. <laughs> So in your mind, you know, you don't want to read the book because you already know. I was reading the book at the time before those movies came out, right? And I remember and you, th- and you put it down, being like, "Why am I going to read this like a chump? They're coming out with a movie. I just watch it later on. <laughs> I could just flat re- out on my back, two X speed." <laughs> no, I was like, I was concerned that the Snape in my head would be replaced with the Snape in, in the film. And right. sure enough, great casting. <laughs> it yeah. did replace all the ones in my head. Yeah. Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, Hermione. So yeah. it's all there. So that's the same kind of thing with radio. Sometimes right. I'll like a podcast and I'll be too scared to look up the host what they actually look like because I'm like, I got this image in my head of what they look like. Right. Because like, Howard Stern sounds cool and sexy, and then you look at him and he looks like a giant bird. <laughs> Six eight. He's probably got. No, he actually says he doesn't got that big of a wink. Yeah, that's sort of his defining characteristic. Maybe that'll be ours. So well, do you think there's anyone sure. who's driving now listening to this show who's like, yeah, you know, what? I don't know what they look like, but then they're they're taking our advice and they're like, I'm not gonna look. Yeah, they don't want to look. They don't want to. They look. don't. Want, yeah, because who want. do you think they think sexier? You or me? Probably you. Really? Yeah. With my high pitched voice. Yeah, and... people like a high pitched voice. Like, like, whoa, who's this ch- child reading these stories? For me? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Fuck you. Here <laughs> we go. This story, Yemi, reminds me of you. Oh, great. Am I the asshole for sending a Venmo request for a babysitter hotel and Uber reimbursement after a dry wedding? Wait. Can you read that again? Because I don't know what the words are that you said. 
<laughs> Am I the asshole for setting a Venmo request for a babysitter, hotel, and Uber reimbursement after a dry wedding? Honestly, still didn't get it. So is it Uber you're unfamiliar with or Venmo? I, no, I'm familiar with the, the, those. These, uh, the person's asking for money yeah. for uh, an Uber request. So they're asking essentially, are they an asshole for asking their friend for some money? For specifically a babysitter, a babysitter. an Uber ride. And oh, these are three di- different things. An Uber three ride. things. They're like, they did a Venmo request. So they're okay. like, hey, you owe me 180 bucks. Right. Just sent, did, you get a notification from your friend that says, hey, Scott is asking Ian for 180 bucks. And then right. in, in the description, it would say for Uber, right. hotel, and babysitter. Gotcha. You're caught up? Now, yeah, I'm wondering now if that's the problem. If, if it's if it's the writer or if it's the reader. Who's I think it. it may be in your case. You, you. It's, it's the, uh, <laughs> the comprehender. I believe so. Okay, I guess so. All right, well, let's find out. Yeah. So a friend from college got married this past weekend. Their wedding was 45 minutes from my house, so my wife and I got a hotel room. We checked in, had a few pregame cocktails, and we ushered from the hotel to the venue. We sit down. Wedding happens. It's beautiful. We get to social hour, in quotes, and it's called, and as it's called, and there is no booze. Turns out this was a dry wedding. There was no indication that this was a dry wedding before showing up. I checked the digital version of the invite and the website. Nothing indicating this. I'm pissed for a few reasons. Number one, I might not have RSVP'd yes if I knew this. Mm. Number two, I'm pissed I blew a few hundred bucks on a hotel for the night, babysitters and Ubers. Now you see where it's all tied together, Scott. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Other friends that were there were grumbling and felt similar to me. They might have went on... They The night went on and the wedding was fine. Earlier he did say it was beautiful. But honestly, a bit of a bummer. Now that my wife and I have kids, nights like this are rare. And I was pumped to do something. So we dipped out a little bit early and we went out. Other friends rolled with. We left in the middle of the dancing time and didn't stay for the exit. Later that night, I sent a Venmo request to my friend for the cost of the babysitter, hotel, and Ubers. And yesterday I hear from the groom, my college buddy, and he's like, What the fuck, you asshole? I explained I was mad that this was a dry wedding. He said the bride had family that are alcoholics, so they opted not to have alcohol as an option. I told him that's need-to-know information, not informing us that cost me and our other friends a lot of money. He said I should have asked him and not assumed it was a wet wedding. I don't know if that's the term. I said to him, alcohol is a default option. If you change the default, you tell people. He disagreed with that notion. I said, you drink why would I think it's dry? We went back and forth for a while, and now he thinks I'm an asshole. Am I? Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's insane. Well, I mean, I'm not insane. I can understand being a little bit uh, grumbly about, like, yeah, you sure you wanted to uh, have some booze, but sending a request is kind of like, all right. I mean, wh- <laughs> you're telling you're using the, the guy's uh, wedding, which I guess you don't give a shit of whether he gets married or not. And you're like, I'm, it's more about me going out with my wife and getting hammered. It's <laughs> a free night to get drunk on my buddy's dime. Yeah, well, yeah, and then, uh, and then, yeah, getting upset about having a, a hotel room. I guess the guy. Well, what I'm saying is, this man has alcohol problem. <laughs> I got a drink to have a good time, and I need it to engage my wife. In it. There's no question this dude's an alcoholic, but. I love I love fifty things about this. I love that sometimes he's like the notion. I refuted the notion to my said acquaintance, yeah. and other times he's like I'm pre gaming and my buddies are rolling with. <laughs> oh yeah, God. yeah. He's really trying to make himself sound highbrow in this situation, and like uh... once he realized he was clearly writing a story where he is obviously the asshole, he's like I got better sound smart. <laughs> <laughs> better go back and edit this out. Imagine uh, it's your wedding. Yeah, it's one a.m., two a.m. You're back in the hotel room with your soon to be bride. Yeah. About to uh, seal the deal in the, in the eyes of the Lord. Okay. And you get a text from your buddy, who's no doubt wasted now, so it's riddled with typo, that says, you owe me 180 bucks for the hotel babysitter Uber. That's insane. Well, I appreciate the double down afterwards, right? He, he is when he's sober and like reclaimed his uh, sensibilities. He's, he's like, yeah, no, we expected to be drunk. Me and my, me and my wife expected <laughs> to drink and get hammered. Um a wet wedding. And I'm so sorry about your family's alcoholics and deciding to, to care for them. He didn't sound sorry at all, too. No, he didn't, he didn't care. Oh, just because they'd ruin the wedding doesn't mean I can't have a good time? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure, that'd be nice to know that information, but then saying that you're also not going to go to the wedding because there's not no alcohol. Yeah, that he never would have RSVP'd. Brother. And he drank beforehand. You're already buzzed, buddy. How yeah. long's a wedding? Four hours? 
Get I six mean, shots you, in the car, you're you fine. Dip out whenever you want, really. He also said that they left though with a crew of people. That like he like so he was totally being like, let's get out of here. This place sucks. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This this wedding sucks. The support of our friends, love is terrible. Let's go to a wing stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly where they would have went. You guys like wings, right? I do. <laughs> Sends a Venmo request for the wings. <laughs> I had to pay extra for the four lar hot sauce. Two dollars, no refund. <laughs> have you yeah, ever been too drunk it, at a wedding? Have I ever been too drunk at a wedding? Yeah, obviously I've been too drunk at a wedding. Yeah. Enough where you like the next day you're like, oh my god, what did I do? No, no, I'm f- we're fun. We're f- have fun times. I'm probably I sh- probably should be feel shame for the things that I've done, but. Um, You've never been too drunk before the like at the reception where you're like where they're doing the speeches where you're like distracting a little bit at the table at the drunk table so to speak. No, people like that, right? Ah, <laughs> depends the vibe of the wedding. Yeah, but most fun wedding, most fun table. You play most fun table. Is that a thing? Well, I mean, it's a it's a fun game that uh, my friend uh, Ali Rosakos came up with. She wants to whenever uh, she's at a bar, she wants to be part of the most fun table at a bar, a bar, a wedding, or whatever it is. So, which just means being the part of the, the loud, loudest, the <laughs> loudest table is having the most fun. Wow, that's interesting. You're at a restaurant, you hear, everyone's quiet, fine dining, and in the corner, you yeah. hear someone be like, "Whoa, Caesar <laughs> salad!" I don't think I didn't think that idea is the most fun, but Whoa! Uh, but playing games and having laughs and telling great stories is, I think, every more, restaurant more more or less having a better time having a better time always ever. having a good time always having a good time always having you know your friend sounds table. like someone who's trying to just pregame with his buddies <laughs> have a good time yeah no it's unfortunate how about yourself i mean you have shame overs like yeah so they all feel like any time i've ever drinking in my life you, it drinking? Feels like, drinking you um is drinking. that is that hold you back from uh imbibing is because you uh is because you have such heavy heavy shame overs Sometimes depends on the setting. Like if you're gonna go to a family family affair, a wedding, if you will, um, you're gonna be like, ah, I'm probably not gonna drink because obviously I'm gonna say something dumb. I can't control myself because my brain is mush. I try to. Well, uh, we'll ignore that last part. <laughs> we'll try to. Uh, uh, sometimes I'll be like, All right, dude, you can have three. Three is good. You still. This they is still you talking to you. Talking to me in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just pointing to yourself. <laughs> Please be good. Please, <laughs> just three. Just three. Two or three depends on the setting. I'll try to cap myself, and often I don't listen to myself because right. you have one. You're like, "This feels amazing." <laughs> <laughs> It'll always Sweet. feel like this, even after fifteen. <laughs> Old me, that the guy talking to myself in the mirror was an idiot. He wasn't at the fun table. That guy was a sober <laughs> Sally. Yeah, I want wet wedding Ian. Yeah, so there's definitely been times where I've hoped that I, I've been too drunk. Uh, our, a mutual friend, Jenna, who's been on the show, mm. we were pretty drunk at a wedding table once, and I feel like we were maybe a little distracting. Yeah, because they, they kicked you out. Yeah, yeah, they told us to leave. and <laughs> no, 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 but we were like during the speeches, we were laughing really hard at the bad speeches. Oh, right, and they were angry. Well, I just think it's like it was obvious like that we were not laughing for the oh, Yeah, right well, that makes sense. If you're making fun of people at a wedding yeah, uh, that, probably... are, that are doing their best, that like, com- comprise a, or a, a, a nice, in their mind, speech, and it's not landing the way they want it to because, you know, they're not performers or whatever it is or just whatever in this case it was you're the... just laughing at them and throwing rolls dinner rolls at their heads <laughs> yeah were you there <laughs> oh god was it your wedding <laughs> yeah. no uh the bridesmaid was so wasted she was like the drunkest one there and she was trying to make a speech yeah and you could barely understand it and so we started laughing it was one of those things you started you're trying... mimicking her as well <laughs> just you couldn't hold it when you're trying not to laugh but it makes you want to laugh harder all right so we just were laughing so hard but you know those shots were flowing we've been at the brides at the bride speech Bridesmaid, yeah, not the bride. Oh, bridesmaids. Yeah, speech. Okay. <laughs> do brides make speeches at their own weddings? Uh yeah, they usually do a thank you to the oh at the end parent. I, I yeah to the parents and they thank people who came from came far. from out of, yeah. So a lot of thanking going on at most weddings. Yeah, they <laughs> thank my partner. I like to thank thank their family uh, yeah, for like, accepting me. Yeah, I like uh, to thank uh, this the son in law who's going to be t- treating our daughter well. Yeah, and, yeah, it's true. There's yeah. a lot of pre thank yous. A lot, a lot of pre thank yous. Even yeah. Though, has anyone any done anything? Really? No. Have you done anything? No. <laughs> you didn't, you came in, you got a babysitter, you took an Uber, you got a hotel, and you expected to have a good time. You just try to have a good time. <laughs> you and your wife don't get out very often. Why aren't there Jaeger shots at this goddamn wedding? Without question, this guy is an asshole. And he's probably such an asshole that he shouldn't be invited to the wedding in the first place. Like, this guy shouldn't be... Well, they sounds like they're college friends. They were friends, uh, happenstance. Like, they, right. they had the same uh, chemic, chemic, 
<laughs> You're like, I don't know, a chemistry class. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they lived across each other in the dorm. Yeah, yeah. They were good yeah, buddies yeah. ten they, years ago. Situation, like... a situational friend. Totally. And you're like, okay, I guess I guess you have to come because we... Uh... Wait, the guy I used to play beer pong with and do beer funnels with was an asshole 15 years later? <laughs> it still has a drinking problem? Weird. Huh. One of us grew out of that. Yeah. <laughs> or has just had a family of uh, problem drinkers. Yeah. Um, anyways, what was the, um, what's the uh, internet saying? Are they agreeing with us? Or are they, uh... Oh, yeah, they say this guy's the devil. The devil. I they're, mean, that's hard to. That's a, that's a bit of a stretch. I don't think he sounds, any, sounds a bit cheap, but cheap and he's certainly like, cheap and young. Maybe he also sounds a bit young. Maybe like uh, twenty six, twenty seven. Have you ever asked a friend a similar situation where you felt slighted? Like asked a friend for money like this, like where it's like, hey man, think, I, I've never asked anyone for money. Hey, I was driving. I drove us up to the uh, to the lookout last night so we could hit golf balls. Into, into the neighborhood or whatever, you know, you get up to when we're not doing this show. No, I'm more of a boycotter. Like, uh, you know, you, you hang out with somebody, right? And they wrong you. It's like, well, I guess that's a sunk cost right there. And we just don't call that person anymore. Oh, you just like shun them from the group. Delete them from group. the text. Shun, shun them from your life. <laughs> so someone says something weird. You're at the movie theater. Boycotted. Out. <laughs> out on this person. Boycotted, so because a boycott is like, hey, we're not shopping at a grocery store anymore. The owners, yeah, we're, not, we're not spending any time with this person, right? We're boycotting them. <laughs> we're boycotting. I don't them. know if this is the word, but I like it. <laughs> well, I think right. So you're nice more like, so if somebody, let's say, let's say you're at a dinner for six, you're the like, fun. If family. I'm this asshole, I show up to this wedding, and I'm so fucking pumped to get hammered with my wife. Yeah, to go have some weird sloppy sex at some, <laughs> at some holiday cheap Inn express. <laughs> yeah, uh, and and I feel wrong. I'm sending this Venmo Venmo request. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm boycotting the, the this wedding and, and the friends. Oh, you're boycotting the friends? If I'm this asshole. Are you expecting to actually get that money, or is it just a dick message you're sending? Are you actually expecting this groom to send money? If I'm money? this guy? Yeah. I think, I, well, judging from the person, I feel like he's uh, not expecting to get the money, but like sending a message. I think like, so. Hey, guess what? Like, you're not even talking to the guy. Not reasonably. You're just, like, Venmo requesting him, which is, like, yeah, I did the most passive-aggressive thing. And then putting a subject line saying, for for a babysitter, for this, for this. And then he went on the internet and typed the whole Reddit story about it. Yeah, like, honestly, it's way too much time invested in it. Too much time for me to talk about it. Too much time for this person to write this garbage up. Yeah. And 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 too much space in my brain. I'm boycotting this, this conversation whole right now. Whoa, you're out. I'm out. All right. All right. All right, Yami, I got another one for you. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I got to tell you. I got another one for you. Well, because you... Ooh, uh, this one. Ooh. Ooh. Did you, have you pre-read these? Yeah. And what's with the what's with the um, dramatic reading of them? You're really trying to... I'm trying to... It, yeah, I'm trying to... I'm trying, trying to really, juice it. Yeah, I'm thinking for the clip. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, I... Only can listen to people read if they're if they're hitting it with a little bit of. Well, I figure I'm an actor. Why not give them give the people a little free free little free little tonality, a little a little taste tonality, a okay. little taste. You know. All right. Well, let's... why read it like a schmuck? Why? Well, yeah. This one's short and sweet, baby. Okay. Am I the asshole for suggesting my wife name our baby after my previous partner? Wait, I gotta say that again because I forgot a word. Am I the asshole for suggesting to my wife? Is yelling your dramatic reading? <laughs> Am I an asshole for suggesting to my wife that we name our baby after my previous partner? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... But did you pre-pick these so that they're just, like, asshole ones? Because you're like... They're, they're always asshole ones, no, I feel like. No, they're not. I, I mean, for the most part, they were all, like... They're, like, reaffirming that I'm not a bad person. And, like, uh-oh, did I... Was I a bad person by giving uh, money to a charity? <laughs> just a brag? <laughs> yeah. See, I am I a bad person for not keeping my Christmas bonus and instead of feeding seventeen orphans? Orphans? <laughs> yeah, feeding those oceans just full. <laughs> feeding those oceans, I threw the money into the ocean. Yeah, just want to make sure. Come on, little whales. Yeah, I mean, is there any context to it? It's like, what do you mean? I just want to name it after my ex partner. So Try to pitch it to them. me. I'm your wife. I'm pregnant. I'm eight months be... pregnant. We know it's a boy. Hey, no, I guess we know it's a girl. Okay. In this case. Yeah. Hey. Uh, listen, I. Um... I know you know my ex's name is Susie. Uh, mm-hmm. I really love the name, and I was hoping that we could name our unborn children Susie, uh, a child, because I'm still in love with Susie. Yeah, there's no good way uh, <laughs> hearing it out loud. <laughs> Even I love the name Susie. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Because because whenever I say Susie, I'm thinking of her, and I want to have that connection with this child. And you also someone you used to sleep with. Yes. Yeah, you want to name our daughter? Yeah, it's insane. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, like that's why that's why I'm like, well, did, did you pick these earlier? Because I'm like, this is just nonsense, non- nonsense garbage. Well, uh, this is like rage bait for for the internet. Look, I got news for you. The ones that rise to the top aren't exactly like. Well, did yeah. I choose paper or plastic at the grocery store? <laughs> the answer is paper, but they won't give it to you anymore. Not at all. No, there's no paper. You can get paper at my grocery store. You can't store. get a bag at a grocery store. You can't buy Unless you're buying oh, like a, a buy. full-on plastic uh, can, canister. <laughs> a canister, a jerry can. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cut off the top, fill your groceries <laughs> in. It stinks like petrol, but you can... You the can... whole thing, yeah. I like it's The idea of getting rid of plastic bags is good, but repl- replacing that with just, I don't know, like a tank-sized uh, garbage bag. Yeah, yeah and then you've got a, a drawer full of it. Yeah. Well, we don't need to complain about saving the earth. We're not the assholes here. Well, I mean, we're all going to try and save the earth, but I don't think this is the best way of doing it. The bag thing? Yeah. I mean, like... Right, it just makes pl- you buy, because you're not going to just carry your groceries in your I think it's just hands. another scam to get more and more plastic, get more money off these bags. You think that bag costs a dollar fifty to make? Right. Probably. Yeah, they punish you, make you feel bad, like make you didn't you bring the bag. Make you feel bad, and they, they, you know, they put their branding on it. Why don't you put it's my just name an ad on it? I'm paying for it. Or it doesn't even say like save the earth. Look at the, it. Should say, it should shame you. It should say like this guy didn't bring a bag. That's fine. But then I guess you could never use it again. <laughs> so like, I know I, I've used this nine times. Yeah, hit us with some slogan, something fun on there, something kitschy. Uh oh, I paid a dollar fifty for this. I better reuse it. You like that? Oh, yeah, I like it. That's why you're in marketing. That's why I'm in marketing. Yeah, marketing the hell out of this. Yeah, you're, you're right. It is just a good scam. Something they used to give away for free. They now get to charge a dollar fifty for. Yeah. These corporations, man. When you're naming your child, is are you like marketing your child? Is that what the idea? Yeah, I name my kid Evian. So sue me. <laughs> they were the highest bidder. Yeah, get a couple of, get a couple of bucks for naming your. That's child. a good idea. If you're a celeb, yeah, you know, like uh, you know, you're, you're going to be famous off the get go. You know, you're like uh, Willow Smith. Yeah, who's not a nepo baby. Not a nepo baby. <laughs> she should have been named for them to get a couple extra bucks. Like Nestle. <laughs> Why is she Nestle, not a nepo baby? Nestle Quick Smith. That's genius because, like, Brad Pitt back in the day sold him and Angelina's baby pictures for a couple million dollars. Right. And they donated all the charity, which is a good use for when People Magazine paid for it. Sure. But you could which make a charity, though. But what, their charity. That a charity of their, their choice. Account. Yeah, not a charity. It should be in my <laughs> choice. <laughs> Feed the Oceans charity. No, uh, but yeah, that's a great idea. You, you t- sell your celebrity baby name to the highest charity. Oh, have you met my son, Make a Wish Foundation? Okay. Have you met my son, Ronald McDonald House Fisher? Have you met my son, Greenpeace? <laughs> I mean, you did pretty good. You named three charities. I thought you were really going to peter out there. You, and did, you did for sure. You let me, you did stare at me, <laughs> which was either say, keep going or stop now. <laughs> um, but I was, yeah. I, I, but also, like, just naming your child is an advertisement for that name. Like, you in your mind, you got an idea what a Jacob is or a, a Harry is or um, a Sally. So You say, you know what? I always thought you were a dumb guy. But yeah. You say some insightful things. That's true because you naming your kid Harry shows that you like that name Harry. And the people that it's represented in your life. Just like this person who likes a Susie or their ex-girlfriend's name is wants to name their kid that. Yeah. Wants to re-embody that person's Look, vibe. Look, Susie or... had big tits, so sue me. <laughs> <laughs> no you're right because then and then that harry goes out into the world makes friends or not betrays yeah. people inspires and, people yeah and then someone else gets named harry maybe and you you tell them the lessons of the harry's in your life <laughs> so uh, i once knew a harry and he had great qualities uh, a man of many many values and characteristics this is your best band speech <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh who are you named after, Ian? Any Ians in your life that your mother used to I, I am, yeah. I'm named after my dad's best friend as a kid. Oh, crazy. That's yeah. Great. But it's a sad story. Uh, yeah. The part, part where your father passed? No. Well, yeah. I mean, that did happen too. But uh, he he uh, he died as well. Oh. The, the guy I was named after. I was going to be named Clay or uh, or Blaze, my, my, my mom's last name. Right. Oh, uh, my dad's friends wanted to name me King. Yeah. King Fisher, like the bird. But right. then... Or like the Fisher King, like the um, like the movie came, with I Robin Williams. I thought someone Williams. came in here. Oh no, no, no! It's just your studio falling apart. But then when uh, when he when he, Ian died, they decided to name me Ian. Right. Yeah, and then so maybe one day when I die, you'll name your kid Podcast Fisher. Podcast. <laughs> Are we married in that case? For sure, I will not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that a true story? That's a true story. Oh really? Yeah. N- no, it's not. Is it, it is. You're you're named after your your dad's best friend, who killed himself. Oh, who killed himself? <laughs> like if you're gonna, 
If you, yeah, shortly before I was born. Tragic. <laughs> hey, we cut that. Hey, you know, oh, why leave it in? That's a nice little tip. It's a nice. It's a nice story. It's it a nice because then nice I, I I honored I honored his name. He gets to live on through right. through me in some way. And he he was never with your mom. I I don't know if they'd met. Maybe they had. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. That's Maybe nice. They... See, that's a nice way of like letting someone live on, not like naming it after your ex. Yeah, which is hey, maybe that's them live on. I live on, but in a weird scenario, a very for someone weird who's, way. Who's um, yeah? Because even if you love the name, you're like, oh, I just love the name Susie. I just love it. Right. I, you know what? There's we no need? getting around the. We need that... a, a woman's perspective on this mm-hmm. because hey, it's I, just two guys. Should we like... cut to her? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Carol, what do you think? <laughs> just two guys pontificating on other the dumb, whole time dumb she's idiot been sitting thing. beside us. <laughs> hasn't been able to chime in. <laughs> Just two people just manically talking over top of them. As loud as humanly possible. <laughs> but hey, while drinking coffee, it's our show. What did you... So, And then you assume everybody else on the internet is like, is it on board with this very basic premise of life? Like, don't name... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think... Uh, <laughs> I'm not even reading the comments, but I guess I should because... <laughs> I'm just like assuming like there is no way, but maybe that's dumb. Let's yeah, see. Maybe we're dumb. Maybe. Yes, I'm you're the maybe. asshole. But because you made it clear in this post and quite clearly to your wife that Rachel is your true love and Lucy is a stand in her wife. You may not see her memories, unwanted feelings because you're still in love with her, dude. But your wife sure does because you're still in love with her. OK, maybe, maybe not. let's not read the comments. Yeah, is see, because it's just scolding. Too intense. Too like, intense. I mean, relax. Yeah, it's too early. Yeah, the guy made a mistake, obviously. <laughs> the guy made a mistake. <laughs> the guy's obviously getting divorced right now. The guy's right a now. good guy. Yeah, well, just wants know. to Just wants to have a daughter named after his ex. Is that so weird? Yeah. Is that so creepy? It is. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah, 100%. It is. <laughs> All right, one last one. OK. This one you can really Here's, here's another one-liner. Am I an asshole for a... <laughs> Am I an asshole for stealing from a charity? Yeah, stealing a dog and then just <laughs> raising it as my own. <laughs> All right. I don't think I am. Yeah. Would you rather... I can, let me ask you this. Both Would these stories are about vanity. I'm going to let you pick. Would you rather a story about steroids or would you rather a story about... Someone being told they're too ugly to live in Los Angeles. Whoa, that's a rough one. Well, we talked about steroids earlier, and we're like, how do we find some? Because we want to be super jacked. That's true. But, <laughs> it's in the car on the way here. Too scared. Too scared. Too scared to shoot it into our veins. It's that, that's the problem. You have to like steroids are injectables. Is that what it is? Yeah. See, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a deterrent right there. Nobody wants to have to jam a needle in themselves. What every day? Yeah. Every day. Pretty much. Because that's what people are doing for Ozempic, right? They, they're jamming. oh yeah, they're shooting that shit in there like it's a junk. Like like, and then what do you like? You see the movies like um, you find, find the band. You find it. You gotta find another spot, a, a fresh spot to put the needle your in. Vein? You just, yeah, you gotta put it in, oh, the, God. in between the finger webs there. <laughs> I think at yeah, Ozempic, they're shooting in their arms and their thighs. And same with uh, it's gotta go into the, the testosterone. You're pumping that shit into your butt. Into, into your butt, I into believe the, so. Into the into the muscle. Yeah, that's. That's nuts. And then that's that spot get like super Extra jacked. jacked? Yeah. I got, a, I got a six pack on my ass. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if you have people you shoot in your, you shoot in your stomach. We should get somebody on here that knows about, that does steroids and is free to talk about it. Instead of us just guessing? Yeah. Instead of just like making Like everyone up a else on the line. internet? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you got good instincts. Instead, no, we're going to be like every other podcast and just give our opinion as if it's fact. Yeah. They probably get a six pack on their ass. They do, without question. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, wait, which would you like to hear? <laughs> yeah. Um, the vanity one. I was t- probably the person who said uh, I, this person's too ugly to live in LA is uh, the asshole. So maybe let's try <laughs> steroid one. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm an 18 year old man. I was recently living with my mom. She gave me a choice: either stop using quotes special juice or find somewhere else to live. I decided to move out. Most of my money I make from social media. I make a decent income from social media and part-time work, but my life revolves around maintaining my physique and social media presence. This sucks. This <laughs> my, sucks appearance, my appearance is somewhat like David Laid. I train for aesthetics. 
My sister found this. I made a mistake. I made a you mistake. You want to go back to ugly in LA? I, yeah, give me. I already hate this person. I don't. I, <laughs> You're halfway to the store. I make my money through social media, and most of my life is spent working out and working, and then telling me about your aesthetic. Get the hell out of here. My mom to... tells me not to do steroids. My mom's <laughs> such a bitch. She keeps telling me not to do steroids at the table. <laughs> I'm trying to get my gains. Yeah. Yeah, Special please. juice. I'm, I'm already angry, and I can't. I well, can't. now we have to finish it, dude. No, okay, fine. My sister found the special juice and told our mom, which led me to being kicked out of the house. And a huge argument between us three. They asked me before this whole thing if I was taking special juice. And I told them, no, I'm natural. The only reason I lied is that if they knew, they would overreact. And I was right. Me doing this was helping them. It's how I make my money to support my mom with bills. Oh. And honestly, if I wanted, I could stop any time I wanted to. I'm not addicted, and they failed to realize that. I feel bad moving out because I've helped my mom with bills. Leaving now adds to her financial strain. Yet I can't bring myself to give up this lifestyle. My mom doesn't understand why I'm so adamant about it. But to me, it's more than just about physical appearance. It's about providing for my family. I know she's going to struggle with the bills. My sister is 15, so she can't even work yet. And our father is not around. It's going to be a lot of stress on her, but if she can't accept me for what I do, I had to leave. My bro, who also does social media, and I plan on getting an apartment together soon, and maybe all this is happening for a reason. I don't know. I hope my sister realizes what she's done just by telling on me. Am I the asshole? Yes, you're the asshole. Yeah, you're the He's asshole. the asshole, huh? Yeah. I mean, also, and like, obviously addicted to steroids. <laughs> <laughs> He's obviously. just addicted to looking good, dude. Yeah. Is that a sin? Yeah. Is yeah, that such a sin? Is when you're just jacked up on steroids the whole time. <laughs> yeah, like there's, there's no and like you can still help your mother with the bills. Like it's not that's <laughs> you not. Can a, still it's, send her the you money. can still send her the money if you're, that's your goal. If I don't live with her, I'm not. I do it in cash. I'm I not, pay my mom in I'm cash. Not, hey, I'm not helping out my mother, the someone who's raised me for for 18 plus years. Yeah, they let you live in the the place for fed free. You. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> obviously a trash asshole. So. <laughs> You hated that guy so much, you begged me not to finish. Well, the story, just like, what, what, like... Was it worth it, though? Were you glad I finished? Well, like, no, because every time you're telling me these things, I just have such anger and visceral response to this. <laughs> One, your reading is awful. I, my <laughs> reading's not good. That I will give you. I gotta work on it. I, I don't know if I should say it like a natural or say it uh, weird. I, I don't know. I I'm reading it for the first time, too. And I get it. I hear you. I, it's, it's difficult. It's a cold read. Maybe you. you should read him next week. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. I'll get angry all the way through, and you then I'll be like, I can't read this anymore. And I'll see if you're good. Yeah, you can't quit halfway through, and then yeah. I'll be the asshole judger. Well, I mean, yeah. I judge with you, but you know, we'll switch it up. Am we, I we... the asshole for for judging your reading based uh, with you just reading for the first time? Yeah, you are an asshole. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, right, we knew that ahead of time, Listen, though. I'll, I'll check myself, you know, and I apologize for, for giving you such a hard time uh, on, on your reading and your performance of that uh, that ob- obviously trash response. Will you send me a Venmo request later as an apology? That's our show. Thanks so much for watching. 